three coplanar points, and bam, there's the uh, radius of the Earth. The, Earth, the, Earth, the, Earth. Uh, on the level, 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 level. The way I phrase it is, it is a monument uh, to the curvature of the Earth. Yeah. It I really totally is. Agree with you. Level. It I really totally is. Agree with you. Level. And bam, bam, there's the, uh, the uh, radius of the Earth. The earth. You say this straight. Mm. It's all yeah, a sphere. Yes. It's like a geoid or a geodesic. It's just a straight line on the curved surface. Oh, so a geodesic is a straight line, right? You yes. just have to think of it as a curve. No, so the actual no, picture no. that you're showing us there of that ball with a curve in it isn't actually a curve. It's a straight line. I like no. that. I like that. So that's really just a trick then. It's a concept that you show us a picture of. <laughs> See, I'm showing you a curve, but it's not actually a curve. It's a straight line. I'm showing you a straight line on the curved surface. Sorry. I'm showing you a straight line on a curved surface. That's oxymoronic. How so? Because straight lines don't go on curved surfaces. It, it, it's a curved line, right? You Google it. Straight line on a curved surface. So many images come up. <laughs> well, because people like you think you can put a straight line on a curved surface. No, not people like me. Geometers think you can put a straight line on a curved surface. Really? Yeah. These are not my ideas. I did not come up with this. You didn't come up with um, bending straight lines. That was Fight the Flat Earth, did it? Um, Bob the Science Guy did it just recently as well. He went full bendy zontal. Are you... Um, is that what you're suggesting here? I'm not sure, because I'm not sure what Bob the Science Guy and Flight the Flat Earth said. So uh, I'm not confident in saying that I agree with what they said. Well, uh, basically, it, it comes around to the fact that level is horizontal, right? You You agree to that, don't you? Level? Yeah. Creates a horizontal frame of reference between two points. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, Reg now, regardless of the shape of the surface underneath that level line. Yes. Yes. Okay. Brilliant. I don't know. I mean, but yeah, I guess when you're dealing with hyperboles, curved lines, elliptics. There is no angle at B because you need a straight line, two straight lines. For an angle, right? All right. If that line, if that line was curved, this wouldn't work, and this wouldn't be Pythagorean theorem. This wouldn't even be a triangle. You can't That's measure an angle on, on to a, a curve. Surface. You can't measure an exactly. angle to a curve. Exactly. Exactly. And I, that I totally agree with. Oh, and I'll be getting a webcam soon as well. Oh, you're going to start uh, streaming live? Uh, like having you? Probably not like to YouTube, but in here, I might kind of like. Let people say hi. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I don't. I don't want to be like out in public. But yeah, I mean, because I speak to these guys in here every day, mm. so it'd be nice mm. to be able to do like the video side as well occasionally. Yeah, that's it, really. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't want to put my face on YouTube and shit like that. Don't worry. Oh, I am. Yeah, yeah. I am. <laughs> these muppets need to be taught, don't they, Nate? Need to be you could dress properly. up. You could dress up as me, Bev. Okay, yeah, I could put a white coat on. Would that seem better? <laughs> Stand in front of a whiteboard with a white <laughs> coat. Could I out Professor Phil? Professor Phil. Could I do that? I'd be able. Professor Bev. Yeah. It could work. It could work. I'd have to be a geometer though, wouldn't I? Couldn't be a professor. But I mean, you technically are a geometer, right? Like, you know geometry better than most people. Well, it's not, it's not difficult, really. It's the basics, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, you go above and beyond the basics. You think so? 
I would hope so. I would hope you can. Well, can you? I mean, if you're talking, if you're talking about pl- you know, platonic shapes and pictures you drawn and cubes and whatnot, that's, that's a bit beyond the basics. Is it? Have you? Do you know how to do it or how he did it? How Plato discovered them? Yeah, how where no. where they were and how he found them. I have no idea. I haven't read into them. Could you geometry. tell me? Geometry. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, how did... Circles. So, just through geometry. Yeah. You just use geometry to, to discover cubes. And... Yeah. Okay. I see. Uh, I did some. I did some things the other day. Um, have you seen, have you seen the, um, the... Like, the Flower of Life? And the tree of life and the Kabbalah mm. and all that sort of thing. Well, yeah, yeah, that's geometry, and that's sort of the the sacred geometry that he, where he found his Platonic shapes. Okay, so like the golden spiral and those things. Fibonacci Fibonacci sequences. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's so. I mean, does that not then say that nature itself speaks to mathematics? Yep. Geometry. That's, yeah. how, that's how they use geometry to work mm. out reality, right? That's, that is yeah. Euclidean geometry. That's the basis of it. That's what we do. Mm. But you, you just don't feel non-Euclidean geometry can be used to express reality. Well, if Euclidean geometry is the geometry that we use to express reality... Then what mm-hmm. is non-Euclidean? Can you explain that? Just give us your idea of what non-Euclidean geometry actually is. Mm, like a definition or my personal understanding? Yeah, well, either. Well, I would just see it as any geometry that is not Euclidean. Right, so, and if Euclidean geometry... An example is the geometry uh-huh. of reality, then what is non-Euclidean geometry? Another type of geometry for yeah. re- for reality. I mean, is it that Euclidean <laughs> geometry can be the only one, or could we have different types? Well, th- there's only Euclidean, isn't there? And then anything that's not Euclidean, you can say isn't Euclidean geometry. Yes, but my question is, is Euclidean geometry the only type of geometry that can explain reality, or could we use different types to explain the same thing? Do you think you can? I think, I think we can. Do you? No, well, I, uh, how would you use um, non-Euclidean geometry to explain something? I, um, I propose you just lines, use Euclidean lines on the geometry. Sphere. But that yeah. sphere, so about... you know, that sphere that you're talking about is Euclidean, uh, right? I don't think so. Yeah, Euclidean geometry defines the sphere. Does it? Mm. What is the definition of a sphere in Euclidean geometry? I don't know. I mean, but yeah, I guess when you're dealing with hyperboles, curved lines, elliptics those kind of things, concave and convex structures, that's where you would use non-Euclidean geometry to explain reality. Say? I say hyperboles. Hyperbolic, sorry. Mm. I'm mistaken. <laughs> Did I say hyperboles? I'm sorry, man. Yeah. I meant hyperbolics. <laughs> sorry, man. Forgive me. It's 5 a.m. <laughs> Please forgive me. Yeah. Hyperbolic. <laughs> yeah so i mean i just see it as there are different ways to express reality i do understand euclidean geometry was the first one and it's the most common one it's the basic one that is taught to most people but you know you can use other types to express reality. how see well that's the thing right you you know euclidean mm-hmm. geometry is it's a axiomatic based right so there are axioms and then mm. um 
you have them and you use them in order to do the geometry but everything else you do within the geometry is provable right so yeah it, not only is euclidean geometry um showable because you can see the axioms for it and you can prove all of the points within it like mm -hmm. if you say not that geometry then what are you offering up because behind euclidean geometry you have to understand there is a lot of proofs and a lot of understanding when anybody else thinks of geometry right they think of Euclidean geometry. They just don't need to call it Euclidean because it's geometry that they use in, in daily life. Right? So yes. it defines everything that you see and you can touch, you can measure, you can measure angles, you can see it, you can make models of it. That's all Euclidean geometry, right? So for you to say not that... You, like you what are you offering up as for somebody to sort of understand what not that geometry is do you have anything okay so I'll, I'll, I'll I want to respond to everything you've said so yes I agree with you if you speak to a layman to someone who is not a geometer about geometry you know the first thought they have is straight lines and flat objects you know Euclidean geometry but geometry, the definition of it, does not just speak to Euclidean geometry. It speaks to the three main types of geometry, which are Euclidean, spherical, and hyperbolic. Spherical and hyperbolic would be non-Euclidean. The axioms within uh, geometry, which were made by Eu Euclid, however you say his name, those axioms are also applied in spherical and hyperbolic geometry. Spherical and hyperbolic geometry don't go and create new axioms. They use the same axioms that Euclidean geometry uses and the same theorem. How? Um, Pythagoras' theorem works in hyperbolic and spherical geometry the same way it works in Euclidean geometry. Sorry? Yeah. Um, Pythagor you... Pythagorean theorem, you can use it on for spherical and hyperbolic geometry. A squared plus B squared plus B e squared equals C squared. Yeah. You think, on curved you think that works well. on a curved surface as well? Geometers think it works on a curved surface as well. Can you, and show, I trust can those you show me a proof of that, please? Okay, let me, let me try to find something. I mean, actually show me a proof. Don't just put something in front of me. You, you understand what a proof is, right? Yeah, something that supports the fact. Um, is there a specific type of proof you want? Or? A pr like a proof. If I, if... There, are, there are approximately 157 proofs for Pythagoras' theorem. It's mm -hmm. probably the most, the, one of the most provable things because it, it works in a multitude of different ways as proved by the mm. 157 proofs of it. Do you have anything like mm -hmm. that? That you can yes. show me. Like, have you ever proved Pythagoras' theorem to yourself within Euclidean geometry? Yes. Oh, okay. So you definitely know what a proof is then? Yes. Okay. But the thing is, those same proofs that work in non-Euclidean, <laughs> it'll be the exact same proofs, just transferred to spherical and hyperbolic geometry. Right. Well, can you just tell me, right... Um, one mm -hmm. of the defining factors of a square. There's quite a few, but I mean, any? Like one of uh, key properties of a square? What yep. makes a square a square? Yep. Um, it has four lines. Protonic. Four angles. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, four, four, four straight what? lines. Four straight lines. Four thank straight lines. Yep. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, when they meet, they should form four angles. The sum of those interior angles should be 360. Yeah. And anything about yeah. the individual angles? None of the individual angles should be more. No. Than specific, actually. What, what do you mean? The specific? right angles, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They, 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 they're all right uh, angles. Um, I was going to say none of the angles should be more than 90 degrees. Yeah, and the diagonals are oh, also yeah, all equal. Right 
and the diagonals mm. are perpendicular. Mm. Right, well, that's the defining thing of a square. Like the perfect platonic square. Now, yeah. you okay. propose you can, you can put that on a curved surface, can you? Uh, hang on. Just work it over in your head, logically. Do you think okay. it is possible? Um, so I have proof now. I've just posted it there for you. How Pythagorean theorem works what? on a sphere. Um, if you just look at what I posted. Using cos. Cos A is equal to cos B, cos C. It's the same as that's Pythagorean theorem on a curve cos a the angle mm -hmm. at a the cosine the angle at a yeah is equal to what cosine of the angle at b times cos where's 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 the can you show us where the, you think the angle at b is mm, yeah where, where the letter b is the big b the, oh, the big curve line. The big uh, capital B. Oh, well, that's uh, not... The, the, the it shows a little B in your formula, though, B. doesn't it? Yeah, but it's speaking to the angle. Oh, it's speaking to the angle. Which angle at B? Because you realise uh, one, <laughs> one of those lines is curved, right? You can't have an angle to a curve. Which, which line is curved? The one from A to B is a curved it's line. A the big A to the big B. The, big yeah. Mm. It's a straight line on a curved surface. Well, that is, that's a curved line, though. So the uh, angle yeah. at B, there is no angle at B because you need a straight line, two straight lines for an angle. Right? All right. If that line, If that line was curved, this wouldn't work, and this wouldn't be Pythagorean theorem. This wouldn't even be a triangle. You can't, a a curve curve. you can't measure an exactly. angle to a curve. You can't measure an angle to a curve. Exactly. Exactly. And that I totally agree with you. That's well, what I'm why, trying to tell why you. Why did you give us cos A plus a cos e equals cos B cos C? What's it's, that about? You can't even measure that's an about, angle? That's about, that's about finding the angles. So we want to use the angles to prove Pythagorean theorem. Right? <laughs> These are straight lines no, no, on a curved the, surface. No, no, no. The, a square. The, the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus b mm -hmm. squared mm -hmm. equals, equals c, c squared but it can also be expressed as the cosine of the angle at a is equal to the cosine of the angle at b times the cosine no. of the angle at c no. and you should know uh, if you should do this again pythagorean theorem is mm -hmm. a squared plus b squared equals c squared right it can't be expressed as cosine something else it can because then it, it wouldn't be pythagorean theorem because pythagorean theorem true. is a squared plus b squared equals c squared it can also be expressed as uh, no 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 cosine no. yep can, can you, you say that. go ask any geometer They'll two tell you this. I'm plus I'm two you don't know this. can be expressed as something else Yes, I can express 2 plus 2 as 3 plus 1. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then put an put a, put a equal sign in between, and they're saying the same thing, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, but Bev, if you don't believe me, it's fine. See, you know, I'm not trying to prove it to I... you. You asked me for evidence. This is my evidence. If you don't accept it, it's cool. A. Listen, well, I'll show you again, right? A okay. squared plus B squared. Mm -hmm equals c squared mm -hmm. right two plus two isn't the same as that is it not at all two plus two is not the same as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. unless you substitute in values into those algebraic placeholders that makes it's, the equation it's geometric i don't know how you would do that though isn't it it's geometric based 
So you can solve it a fair few ways, can't you? I can solve what a fair few ways? Two plus two or Pythagorean theorem? Pythagorean theorem. How you you can't you oh, can't yes. prove that two plus two e equals four, can you? How would you prove mm -hmm. that? Oof. The simplest way to prove two plus two equals four is I would use a visual representation. I would get two apples and then two more apples and show that that equals four apples. I don't know how else I would prove that using mathematics unless, I don't know, off the top of my head, I, I, I can't think of a way right now. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll just get visual representation. Okay, so um, A squared plus B squared equals C squared would need to be shown, wouldn't it? A squared plus B squared, yeah. In order to, for it to be a proof, like you just expressed there, you would have to, you would need a visual representation and you would have to um, change the the numbers into physical objects, right? So, I mean, I like, I, I like that approach for Pythagorean theorem. I mean, that's one of the best ones, the most visual, isn't it? Mm. When When you proved Pythagorean theorem, to yourself which way which way did you use when it was shown to me in school i don't know did, when it was like you said you proved it to yourself i mean like it's no, not just you asked showing me if i knew what the proofs were and i told you i do now you're asking me something different how did the i proofs prove were no well there's 157 i don't know all of them yeah yeah, I don't know all of them either, but you told me, you asked me if I knew that there were proofs for Pythagorean, yeah. and I told you yes. And but I now asked, you're asking me, how, how did I prove it? Yeah, I was asking you. You said you had proved it to yourself. So you I was asking, asking uh, how, uh -huh. how? How did you prove it? It's proven to me through math. Th through maths? Yeah, through maths and diagrams. I was given, you know, um, I was given a triangle. Yep. And that triangle, we drew, we would have drawn a line through the, through the middle of it. Um, so that we create a right angle. So now we have our adjacent, our hypotenuse, and our opposite sides. And then... Oh my God! It's, all, it's already now. a right angle triangle, right? Pythagoras well, in theorem school, works on right angle triangles. A right angle, yeah, yes. But in school, I'm trying to remember the way it was shown to me, and the way it was shown to me is we were given a triangle that, that is not a right angle triangle, and then we had to split it in two to create our right angle. Then we have yeah. our opposite hypotenuse and adjacent, and from there we had to prove the theorem. Right. We would okay. have to prove. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember how, like, what the next step would. Do you want me to show you? A... Yeah, you can go ahead. I've if... got because I was showing somebody the other day this. See that? Mm. Uh huh. See. It. So you can see the triangle in the middle. Yes. And the square of side A plus the square on side B is mm -hmm. equal in area to the square of side C. Mm. That's Pythagoras' theorem. That's a nice simple proof. I should have thought of That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. There's that's, no that's numbers there's no numbers involved. Yeah, that is a good proof. But even that's not a proof. Right? In it's order for you to do that, you'd have to draw that triangle yeah, and exactly. then make the squares, then cut the squares out of A and B and put, um, put them over C and then cut A into bits and it would eventually fit C. You know, like you could prove it in that way to show that the area of A and B all fit within C. Yeah. That, that, would that would be a proof. And then you would then know that, you know, if you did this, that that has been proved. 
A squared plus B. I mean, still, I've just told you that. So until you actually do it, you're just taking my word for it, right? At the moment you do that and you prove to yourself, that is then a proof. Yes, totally agree with you there. Um, I haven't worked with geometry in a while, you know, like the last time I touched geometry would be high school. So I think, I mean, I have seen this before. I don't remember if I've done it, but I take your word for it. Yeah. And I would throw the same challenge back at you until you take what I've shown you with the uh, curved lines on the straight surface and try you to prove it to yourself. You can't curve you can't? a line on a square. Same as you Sorry. can't curve lines on a triangle. I misspoke. I misspoke. Those are straight lines on a curve surface. Those lines are straight on my image. So until you take my image... And try to prove it as well. You say this straight. Mm. It's on yeah, a sphere. Yes. It's like a geoid or a geodesic. It's just a straight line on the curved surface. Oh, so a geodesic is a straight line, right? You yes. just have to think of it as a curve. No, so the actual picture that you're showing us there of that ball with a curve in it isn't actually a curve. It's a straight line. I like no. that. I like that. So that's really just a trick then. It's a concept that you show us a picture of. <laughs> See, I'm showing you a curve, but it's not actually a curve. It's a straight line. I'm showing you a straight line on the curved surface. Sorry? I'm showing you a straight line. On a curved surface. That's oxymoronic. How so? Because straight lines don't go on curved surfaces. It, it, it's a curved line, right? You Let's Google it. Straight line on a curved surface. So many images come up. <laughs> well, because people <laughs> like you think you can put a straight line on a curved surface. No, not people like me. Geometers think you can put a straight line on a curved surface. Really? Yeah. These are not my ideas. I did not come up with this. You didn't come up with um, bending straight lines. That was fighting the flat earth, did it? Um, Bob the science guy did it just recently as well. He went full bendy zontal. Are you... Um, is that what you're suggesting here? I'm not sure, because I'm not sure what Bob the Science Guy and Flight the Flat Earth said. So, uh, I'm not confident in saying that I agree with what they said. Well, uh, basically, it, it comes around to the fact that level is horizontal, right? You You agree to that, don't you? Level? Yeah. Creates a horizontal frame of reference between two points. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, Reg now, regardless of the shape of the surface underneath that level. Yes. Yes. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. Um. So. Level that... can also be where you have a line where all points on that line are equidistant from the central point. Do you agree with that definition? A horizontal. No. That's so right. that's you what I was have... saying that's what Bob did the other day. Bob um, has two them two concepts, like you've just explained. Level is a horizontal, but to Bob, the science guy, that horizontal curves around the imaginary ball. So that's his geodesic. Is is his horizontal? I think. I, I've yeah, yet he's to using, have a conversation using, about him with it. Yeah, he's he's using another ex, uh, definition which meets up with my definition as well. So I define level very specifically. It is a horizontal frame of reference between two points. Excellent. That can also be where you have a line where all points on that line are equidistant from the central point of reference. So if you have a dot, you can draw a circle around that dot all points on that circle around the dot are equidistant from that dot and are therefore level. 
if you drew a horizontal plane of reference between every single point on that line, you would have a level line between all of those points. So the definitions meet up. So I think we're, we're getting we're getting right down to the very basic number one on the list, and that is straight lines. You think they can bend? No. No. If you bend it straight line, it's not bent anymore. It's not bent. I mean, it's not it's not straight in. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Right. So, straight lines don't bend, and horizontal lines do they bend or not? Do you think? I mean, like, remember that horizontal is perpendicular to a vertical, right? Is a horizontal line a straight line? It, yeah, if it's it's perpendicular, isn't it? Okay, y yes or no, do you think a horizontal line is a straight line? Yes, it's, yes, it is a perpendicular. Oh. It has to be a straight line. That perpendic okay, that's what defines a perpendicular. All right. If you think a horizontal is not bent. Yeah, a horizontal line is a straight line, definitely. Okay, then it's not bent. You know? I don't think we would disagree on it. Okay, but you, so you, dis, you disagree with Bob, the science guy, then? Because he, he has mm. a curved horizontal. And somebody else is on, on the Twitter, yeah, uh, like, on the YouTube Like comments. I said... Like I said, I don't feel 100% co comfortable or confident agreeing with Bob the Science Guy because I'm not sure exactly what. He, I don't know if what you're telling me is a proper representation of what he meant. I would need to ask Bob. I could, well, I, we record. Or do you have a video? Yeah, yeah. Okay, six, cool. Six, six minutes video. I'll, I'll put it in the chat for you. Okay. Oh. Um, hang on, someone's calling me, okay? All right. 